All right, so many things we could go through as far as that introductory press conference yeah. from Sam Pittman. So much emotion he showed. You know, he's just so happy to be back in the natural state. It's great to see, yeah. and a lot of things from Sam Pittman's in that introductory press conference that we loved. But one thing to point out during that press conference, Sam Pittman gave credit to his high school coach, Charlie Cooper, at Grove High School in Grove, Oklahoma. He said he called him and told him he loved him, thanked him for making him tough. Afterwards, we got to uh, get in touch with Coach Cooper and share more about his relationship with Coach Pittman. Hard to believe he was a tailback in high school. <laughs> he's, he's getting the flesh down a little bit. Retired high school football coach Charlie Cooper knows Sam Pittman well. Now he's one of his biggest fans, but in 1979, Pittman was one of his players at Grove High School in Grove, Oklahoma. He was kind of the guy that fit the puzzle and made it work. Pittman moved to Grove from Canton, Oklahoma his junior year and helped take the team into the postseason. Very smart player, you know. He was a state champion shot putter. So, uh, you know, he's, he's athletic and uh, he uh, played linebacker and tailback. He played uh, outside linebacker in college. That's where he made All-American. But his intelligence, you know, on the field is really what helped him. After eight years as a position coach all across the SEC, Cooper says he's happy to see Pittman back close to home and to his roots. It tickled me to death. Uh, he, uh, you know, I knew he loved it over here. I knew his wife liked it over here. And when he left, I was really kind of surprised. I have received you, you wouldn't, a lot of calls and a lot of texts from people that, you know, that knew he played there and they're from there, you know, and they're, they're thrilled to death. Cooper says Pittman's greatest asset is who he is and what he stands for. It's why he's a great recruiter and why Cooper believes he will be successful at Arkansas. Because you're going to do all the little things. Because you're going to come back and reap what you sow, so to speak. And if you take shortcuts, they're going to come back and bite you. So he's doing, will do things the right way. Get a program, solid program built up with good people around him. Well, Cooper also said he's a guy that can bring toughness back to Arkansas. A toughness, coincidentally, I mentioned Pittman said Cooper taught him. Charlie Cooper, a name most around here, know Drew as well. He was the head coach and athletic director at Rogers from 1992 to 2001. How cool is yeah. that? Such a connection mm -hmm. back to these roots that I'm sure not a lot of people know about. Yeah, he had so many great things to say about Sam. And I want to start right there in the trenches with some of the things that he mentioned in terms of how he's going to make this team tougher, this program tougher. And that's really kind of speaking to what Hunter Yurchak talked about in the hiring process. He talked about one, got to get somebody who can really, really recruit. Now, number two, he said it's all about being tougher because mm -hmm. let's just face it, they, they've been so soft here each of the last three years in particular. Well, you see, and you just go back to the offensive lines that he coached when he was here for three years with Brett Bielma, some of the toughest offensive lines Arkansas has ever had. You had Dan Skipper, Denver Kirkland, Frank Rag. Now, those guys didn't mess around. They didn't let Sebastian yeah. Trotola, they didn't let people push you around. And that is the attitude this whole entire Arkansas team needs to embrace. Yeah, as far as the staff, Justin Stepp stays on as receivers yeah. coach. As for Brad Davis and Barry Odom, we're talking about Davis coming on as the old line coach. And then Barry Odom comes over. He comes over from Missouri after being yeah. fired by Missouri. He will be the defensive coordinator for the Razorbacks here take. Just quickly, I like it. I like it because Justin Stepp is a great recruiter. He knows the state of Texas, and obviously his wide receivers love him. And secondly, he has brought in two guys with SEC experience, mm -hmm. head coaching yep. experience that he definitely said he wanted to lean on with mm -hmm. Barry Odom. Yeah, Davis with the experience at Florida mm -hmm. as well. All right,